Good morning. Thanks for joining in with us today as St. Paul's United Church in Oakville, Ontario. The sun is shining after the rain on these abundant and traditional lands of the Anishinaabe people, the Attawandaron and the Haudenosaunee, and the Métis, who have been here for thousands of years. And we acknowledge the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, seeking to grow in relationship and reconciliation with them. I'm Carolyn Smith, and with Deborah Lafferette, we serve here with all of you in this affirming United Church. We um, are settling in for our sermon series this summer, and the Scottish, hold on, the Scottish uh, historian Thomas Carlyle said music is the closest thing to angels' speech. So this, this summer we have uh, hymns sung by um, your request. Some people have sent in their favorites. And our sermon series is on songs that matter to you, music that matters, because we know that that always hits our emotions and our sense of how the world works. So behind me is our Christ candle, and Deborah will light it this morning. I'm sure you might have a candle with you. This is a wonderful time for feeling the light and the peace of Christ that crosses all borders across all time and space coming out to you. I wish you the peace of Christ. So hug those people who are around you right now, send a text or chat in the chat box, and we are called to worship. Good morning, St. Paul's. I'm Jeff Lafferette. I'm Jay Smith. And I can't believe we're at somebody's backyard again. I know, I know, absolutely. We are the roaming husbands of Deborah and Carolyn. I really like it. I didn't know what I was gonna do there, so yep. thanks for saving yep, me. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. So we're here to do the announcements, and I gotta tell you, Summer announcements are not, you know, plentiful. So the big announcement is that uh, Deborah is going to be away for two weeks and uh, Carolyn will be here. And so, uh, yeah, I really think that I'm my gift to Carolyn is that you don't comment on how busy she's going to be. That that might be your gift to me. Yeah, you know what is my gift to you? Yeah. I, I won't be home for you to be in my doghouse. I know, I know, and my shed's not comfortable. It really so isn't, it I really know. isn't. Um, so uh, be kind to Carolyn, and uh, hopefully Deborah and I get some good rest. So uh, with that, yes, we are in someone's uh, backyard. Well, we did talk about, uh, you know, don't donate enough to the church. We're going to show up. And so we found someone who oh. we don't... Oh, oh. Back off. What are you guys doing? Elliot, you left the gate open again. <laughs> You so can... first, nice to see you, but what are you doing here? So it it kind of like a, a spiritual intervention. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure if you heard, but we are doing the tour and visiting people who, uh, frankly, haven't been giving much to the church or anything to the church. And I got to tell you. We haven't seen any checks. No, I mean, there are people who have been giving weekly. Yep. They've been mailing them, dropping them off. Yep. And, and everything. And I'm like, that's funny. We haven't seen anything from Kent. No. So this is our intervention to say, come on, man, step up. So not only did you just maybe offend me just a tiny tad. We're not worried about that. But, no, no, I'm okay. But good. you also might touch on a couple of other people in the congregation because, dude, like many of us, I give by par. So you're not going to see a check from me. Our list. I'm guarantee your list. You better go through this, because if you pull this stunt on somebody else who isn't as friendly, who hasn't offered to feed you, and to libate you. That's a word. Um, but anyhow, speaking of giving, I oh, want to talk about. Wait, wait no, 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 no! You broke into my house. I'm not waiting for you. Talking about giving. I should have went to. A couple of things. A couple of things about giving. There's money. Giving through par, okay? But I also belong to pubs and pews. And in the old days, this is what used to happen, ladies. Anything we tip the waitress. Or, or waiter. Thank, thank you. you. So we would also put into a fund that would go to the church. Um, we have been obviously been meeting um, uh, virtually for the last year and a bit. And I've been doing a bit of calculation. So I have decided, gentlemen, That's of nice my pubs and pews, that I am donating $100, which is 
which is probably half of what I would have spent at Pubs and Pews had we been like going full force. <laughs> a tenth. Um, a tenth. No, no. <laughs> uh, to our uh, library fund, so we can buy our books. Uh, so I am I am doing that, and I encourage any other buddies in Pubs and Pews if you would like to do the same. Let's see that fund go up, 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 and everyone will know it's the Pubs and Pews gang. Jeez. And if you want to give, there's time on the board, on the cha- uh, board, council, council. So I'm chair of council. If you join council, this is what I can give you. <laughs> you can be my friend. How would that be? Ken Palmer's my friend. That'd be awesome. So I'm not- let's think about that. <laughs> Good morning, St. Paul's. Um, As you may have noticed, when we put the three of those together, there is a lot of editing that happens. So um, you can thank me later later for that. Um, We are going to now hear a scripture reading and another anthem, a new one that Catherine has offered to us, and then um, and then our sermon on the song "Turn, Turn, Turn." So I'm going to invite Kate over here. Hi, my name is Kate Gunter, and I'm happy to be reading to you today from St. Paul's Church. Today we will hear two passages. The first is from Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant, and time to pluck up what is planted, like a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sue, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. The second chapter, the second reading, is from the second chapter of Isaiah, Isaiah, verses 4 and 5. God will judge between the nations, and render decisions for many countries. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation will not raise the sword against another, and never again will they train for war. O house of Leah and Rachel and Jacob come, let us walk the light of our God. Yay! Let us pray. May the words from my lips and the meditations of my heart be guided by the Spirit and be words of wisdom for us today. Amen. What song contains the oldest written lyrics and was a number one billboard hit in the US? Maybe you guessed because of the scripture that passage because of the scripture passage that Kate just read for us. Almost word for word The song, Turn, 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 repeats the words from chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes from the King James Bible. This was and is a popular tune made famous by a band called The Birds in 1965. It was written by Pete Seeger, who put the words to music and added only seven additional words. I swear it's not too late. And the repeated word, turn. Pete Seeger, who died in 2014 in his 95th year, was an American folk singer and social activist. He was actually blacklisted during the McCarthy era and in the 1960s was a prominent singer of protest music in support of international disarmament, 
civil, civil rights, counterculture, workers' rights, and environmental causes, according to Wikipedia. For the lyrics of this song, Turn, 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 he only received, he only received 5% of the royalties. The rest was donated because, he said, all around the world, songs are being written that use old public domain material. And I think it's only fair that some of the money from the songs go to the country or place of origin, even though the composer may be long dead or unknown. I was going to send it to London, where I am sure the committee that oversees the use of the King James Version exists, and they could probably, probably use a little cash. But then I realized, why not send it to where the words were originally written? So these royalties go to the Israeli Committee Against Demolitions. Pete Seeger was a man who longed for a world of peace and did his part towards making it so. The original words come from a book in our Bible called Ecclesiastes. This word is a Latin translation of the Greek translation of the Hebrew word Kohelet. The author of this book writes that these are the words of Kohelet, son of David, king of Jerusalem. Some believe this person is King David, or King Solomon, who was the son of David, or that they were written later and attributed to King Solomon. But whoever penned these words had a cynical mind. The author writes, What do people gain from all their toil, at which they toil under the sun? What has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done. There is nothing new under the sun. The people of long ago are not remembered, nor will there be any remembrance of people yet to come by those who come after them. The author writes that whether wise or foolish, rich or poor, happy or sad, everyone lives, everyone dies. The author writes that the author struggles with trying to find the meaning and purpose of life and whether there is meaning and purpose in life. The Bible is filled with people struggling to find meaning, grappling with juxtapositions like the very rich and the very poor, the lost and the found, war and peace, oppression and justice, life and death. In the second passage Kate read from Isaiah, we hear about a world where people come together under one God, where they will beat their swords into plowshares, weapons of pain into tools that feed people, and their spears into pruning hooks, weapons of death into tools that clear land and brush to make way for more life. Never again, says Isaiah, will one nation raise a sword against another, and never again will they train for war. No armies, no weapons. It doesn't say no conflict. There will always be conflict, but maybe we will find healthy ways of resolving all conflict. No weapons, no violence. That will not be the answer. Pete Seeger used this song, this passage from the Bible, to promote his message of peace. Verse 8 of this passage reads, A time to love, a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. Seeger skips the phrase about war and ends the song with, A time to love, a time to hate, a time for peace, I swear it's not too late. The person who suggested this song said, I've always enjoyed this song, probably because the passage in Ecclesiastes is one of my favorites in the Bible. This pandemic has been a season of ups and downs. She mentions that she lost a couple of loved ones this year and that she finds comfort in this tune. Now, she writes, with vaccines, a new season has begun as we can get together with our family and friends. It's great. 
Hopefully we can turn to a season without hate and peace for all. This passage that Kate read for us and that we hear in the song, Turn, 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 is often a source of comfort and assurance. It's often suggested for funerals where people have lost people they love. This passage could be read with cynicism, but many choose to read it with hope. It's about the reality of our world in which everyone lives and dies, weeps and laughs, loves and hates, where people are killed and healed and go to war or make peace. It's a hopeful song for those who are crying, knowing that laughter will come again. For those who mourn, knowing they will dance again someday. For those who are left behind after a death, knowing that everyone dies one day, but right now, we can also celebrate birth and new life. Our lives are cyclical. In this region of the world, we experience four seasons as we cycle around the sun. We love, we lose love, and we love again. There is life, death, and new life. I believe the one thing in this passage that does not have to be cyclical is war and peace. In the play Rent, we hear, the opposite of war isn't peace. It's creation. War is about destruction, the destruction of lives, the destruction of our earth. Imagine a world where people solve their conflict without destruction. Imagine a world where everyone instead experiences creation and the natural cycles of that creation. To everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn, turn. And a time to every purpose under heaven. May it be so. Amen. So as Jeff said earlier, we don't have a lot of announcements during the summertime. But I do want to let you know that... Um, we have a youth position open. Uh, we got a grant from Canada Summer Jobs to hire somebody to work with our young people from September to February, 12 hours a week. So the um, job posting is on the website. It was in the newsletter. I posted it on Facebook this morning. So I invite you to share it and um, see if there's somebody out there who might be a good match to work with our youth in the fall. Um, also, our hate has no home here signs I have one left. So if you want it, give Carolyn a call or text her or email her or something. She will have it. Um, there are lots of signs all around Oakville, so it's great to see them. Now we're going to pray. Harold is going to lead us in prayer, and then we'll sing, and I'll see you for the benediction. Good morning, St. Paul's family and all watching the service this morning. My name is Harold Deveni, and I have the pleasure of leading you in prayer this morning. I invite you to still the thoughts racing through your minds, take a deep breath, and open your heart to God's voice. I invite you to pray with me. To every season turn, turn, turn. There is a reason, turn, turn, turn. The season of peace and love. Sounds like I'm a hippie from the 60s, God. But the season of peace and love broke out in the 60s while wars were being fought and riots over injustice and hatred were taking place. You show us that peace and love has no season. They jump out and can be present at any time. Any time we really listen to your voice demanding justice, fairness, and love between all peoples. 
As we push our way through the pandemic, seeing a light at the end of a still long tunnel, help us to remember that love for each other, seeing the beauty of nature around us, and accepting differences between folks while focusing on our similarities can help us build your world instead of tearing it down. We are all your people and equal in your eyes. Be with your people in this world as we struggle with the insurmountable natural disasters occurring around the world. Floods, mudslides, fires, tornadoes, and hurricanes are all tearing lives apart across your world. We ask that you put your loving arms around all of these members of the human family, your family, and hold them close and give them peace. And then there are the man-made disasters as witnessed in the condo collapse in Florida several weeks ago, and the tragic auto accidents over the past week and the killing of one another due to slights and anger that becomes uncontrollable. Be with those affected by these events and Again, bring them peace and help them as they try to understand why. Closer to home, God, we ask that you be with all those in the St. Paul's family as we look forward to family gatherings, hugging grandparents, grandchildren, and parents who have been isolated during the pandemic. Keep us all safe. We ask that you stay close to those who are not well or dying and let them know that they are loved and not forgotten and help them find peace as well as the friends and family of them. We thank you, God, for the beauty that surrounds us every day if we only open our eyes, for the love that surrounds us if we only open our hearts and the ability to make this a better world if we only open our hands and our mouths. We ask all of this in Jesus' name and pray together. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Um, so I'd like to announce to you, that was something I forgot earlier, um, Anne Wilding's um, funeral was on Friday, her celebration of life. Um, Carolyn says it was a beautiful sunny day and there were about 25 people out. Um, so it's a... Uh, during these COVID times, they sometimes happen, the celebration of life sometimes happens later, but when we do get around to it, it's uh, still just as meaningful and powerful to say goodbye. Um, the link, if you'd like to be a part of that service and watch it, is on the Capriva Taylor website. We will also be sending it to you through email, but we'll have Jen Jeannie send it to everybody so you can watch for that. Right after the worship service, uh, hopefully I'll see some of you on Zoom for our coffee hour. And um, after that, I'll be off for a couple of weeks, so I will see you back here in three Sundays. Friends, may you have seasons of peace and creation. And during the more difficult seasons, may you know that a new season will come and that you are not alone. Go with God. Go in peace. Amen.